Hello, this is Chris with PixelFreak.com. Today I'm taking a look at Wreck-It Ralph. So this is a game made after the movie. Uh, it actually released on the day of the movie, the day the movie came out, on iOS. It was supposed to on Android as well, but it took a little bit longer for them to actually bring it out. So it came out about a week late. Um, it's been out now for, I'd say, a, about a week. Um, and it's, it's a pretty cool game. So the way this thing break down, breaks down is, is in the movie, they have like this nexus and it, the movie takes place, it's like it's a video game and the bad guy wants to become a good guy, but there's this nexus where all the video games meet together in this one Grand Central Station. So you start out here in this Grand Central Station and you have your selection of three different video games. You can see here we have, the first is Fix It Felix Jr., which is the one that Ralph is actually from. And the game makes you play that game first once, and after you've played that, you can move on to these other ones. Sweet Climber, which, uh, well, it's, I'll, I guess I'll show it to you in a little bit. It's tantamount to Doodle Jump, and then Hero's Duty. Uh, in the future, they want to release this uh, Turbo Time as well, and that was actually a piece of the story. I imagine they'll probably update the game about the time the DVD comes out, and probably release it at about that time. So let's go ahead and jump into these games, and I'll show you how each one of these things works. All right, so Fix-It Felix Jr. This is essentially right back to the 80s arcade. This is essentially like a Donkey Kong Jr. So you get the old 8-bit graphics and the controls are very similar to like an old arcade game, like Donkey Kong. So here at the bottom you have your left, your left and your right, and then you're supposed to just run around and fix these windows while Ralph throws things at you. You don't want to get hit by those because it hurts you. You get three lives up there in the upper right hand corner and essentially this is a score game. You're gonna go until you die. So the interesting thing about this game, it gets more difficult as you go. You can see right now I'm only having to work on two floors of windows. But as the game goes, now I have three. So now I'm working on three different ones. As as you progress through the game, more and more windows open up. You have to kill you have to fix, not kill. So used to killing stuff. You actually have to fix more windows as you go through. There's also these pies, which gives you an invincibility. And it also, well, see you can see, aha, you can't get me now. It also gives you double points for fixing windows. Uh, as you go, okay, so this is the end of a stage. So you get a pie and all the citizens take Ralph and they throw him off the damn building. That's right. Those people, they got something against gingers. I don't know, it's crazy. So as you can see, the game goes on and on. Now more windows, four stories. And now we have flower pots. So now when I jump up, I hit it. I can't go up any higher than that. So the game goes, and if you get hit by a brick, oh, you lose a life. And then you start back over. So as simplistic as this looks, and as simplistic as it seems, it actually is pretty fun. You can get caught up in it, especially because the game has achievements. So you can see here, you have score a total of 500,000 points. And a lot of these are accumulating trophies. So you have to play multiple times and these slowly will build up towards getting that. Okay, so this game, as I had kind of mentioned earlier, is essentially Doodle Jump. So let's see how my device reacts to capturing and playing Doodle Jump at the same time. Oh, I'm not doing too bad. So, the idea on this one is you have to grab the candy on your way up and you also get like this little booster pack where if you touch the screen you can shoot up based it's like Mentos and soda and you mix them together and it makes you rock it up. So I've always sucked at Doodle Jump. It's not really my my game. So the last one that's currently available is Hero's Duty. I'll jump into that. And this one plays, this one's the only one of the three that's horizontal. And this is like a Smash TV dual stick shooter. All right, so you can see very much like Smash TV. And essentially you go, it's, it's an arena style shooter. So you'll go up against wave after wave of these bugs until you die. As you keep going through, there's some power-ups. There you go. It's got my spread shot. 
different guns. So your health there is on the left, and your ammo is on the right. And you have ammo for all of your power-up guns. They only last for so long, and then they eventually go away. Whoa, now. So I can tell you right now, I played this earlier on my phone. It was a little harder to play on my phone than on the tablet. On the tablet, the controls feel really great. Uh, on a phone, the, the controls for this game, because they're static, they were a little harder to control. I kind of wish that they would have put some dynamic controls in. Uh, a lot of games have that with the dual analog stick, where the analog kind of just appears wherever your thumb goes. Uh, this didn't have that, so a little harder on the phone, still a fun game. I'd say this game alone really makes the deal. This game is actually really, really fun. Uh, the other ones are great too. This one kind of just makes it all worth it. I can see myself playing this one quite a bit. So the whole game is 99 cents, and I think for the 3-in-1 of the game, and I think because it's a 3-in-1 game, it really makes it worth it. This is one you just shouldn't pass up on. Just because you're getting a tremendous amount of value for your buck. And by all means, go see the movie too. The movie's freaking awesome. I went and watched it this weekend with my wife. We were probably the only two adults without kids in the theater. We actually got a babysitter to go watch Wreck-It Ralph. But that would be because our son's an infant. So that's Wreck-It Ralph. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook and check out our blog. And until next time, this has been Chris with Pixel Freak.